Hi, my name is Esther Chan, and today I shall be doing a monologue called Grow Up Humanity by Gabriel Davis. So, you're all of humanity. You are all of humanity. All of humanity. You're not what I thought you'd look like. Well, you look kind of like my 14-year-old nephew, but I'm told I only have two minutes with you to talk some sense into you, and I do appreciate your time. I mean, I'm told the opportunity to talk to you comes but once in a lifetime. No pressure. Anyways, it's just... Okay, you may not like this, but... Uh, What are you doing? Really? Seriously? I mean, you're incredibly bright and capable. You sent a man to the moon, created an international space station, and flew a rover to Mars. You're on your way to growing up and, and becoming independent. But you seem distracted to me. Like my nephew, he's the same, always distracted. Always is playing video games instead of doing his homework, obsessed with earning virtual gold on World of Warcraft. It's just, you created these intricate games where you strive to achieve the highest numeric score, and like my nephew, earning the highest possible numbers drives you, and yet the real numbers the ones that can advance your sciences so that you can move out of your parents' house, aka the Earth, those numbers you barely look at. Don't you want to be able to live on your own someday? Get your own little place out in the cosmos? And that's how you're going to survive long term, right? You're certainly smart enough to do it. But you're distracted. And you're certainly angry a lot. Like my nephew, he's always fighting with his sister or anticipating a fight with her or coming up with great ways to one-up her. He loves drama and he, he loves conflict. You frustrate me, humanity. I mean, you've got all the knowledge to take care of yourself, but you don't apply it. I mean, sure, you've got small areas, tiny pockets of wealth, vitality, but overall, just look at yourself. You're mostly underfed, malnourished, physically unfit, and undereducated. Those numbers don't lie, buddy. Right now, your parents' house is well-stocked and you can use the resources there to mature and study those real numbers and make something of yourself. There's enough so that you can nourish all of you, but not if you keep multiplying like you have been. So please, keep those hormones in check. And like I tell my nephew, there's plenty of time for dating when you're off to college and oh no oh, I just heard my own snooze alarm well I guess this is it my two minutes is up and I do hope everything is sinking in because I'm going to be waking up in a second bottom line you may not have the time you think you have. I mean, a rock could fall from the sky. You could catch a bad cold or have really bad weather. I mean, bad things can happen. So use every moment. No more distractions. Cut out all the fighting and the games. Be serious and pull yourself together and focus. Prepare to move out of your parents' house. Grow up, humanity. Please.
ราะว่า